you're welcome to another tutorial and in this particular one i'll be showing you how i made this particular singlet for kids so i've already folded the fabric into four because i want one to be the lining and one is going to be the main top so here i'll be marking out one inch it's kind of a starting line for me so i'll be taking away three inches because it's an off shoulder top and i'll take the top length which is 14 for me the measurement i'm working with and i'll add half of an inch to it so here i'll be coming up by 12 inches just like that and here i'll be coming in by 3.5 inches and from this point here i'll go down by one inch this is going to be the armhole you know so here i'll be placing the chest measurement divided by four i'll mark it out there and i'll go ahead to add just one inch allowance to that and i'll take it down you know kids their chest and their waist are almost the same are always the same so i'll just you know come out by and half of an inch from this side and i'll create the armhole curve and here i'll be adding 0 0.5 inches at this edge here and from here now <coughs> excuse me i'll come down here by half of an inch and from that here to here i'll you know create a kind of a v shape just like you see me doing so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and cut it out so after cutting it out i have to i'll just set it aside i folded a long fabric i don't know how many inches it was on length in the length but i'll be marking out two two inches so i need it to be two so i'll uh, already cut out two so what i'll do is that i'll fold it in like this and i'll you know turn you sew it and also turn it inside out just like you are making a rope or something so i'll do it for the both of them after doing it for the both of them i have this and i will be cutting out two two inches in length i need about four of these but actually later on i i need about six but you can cut out six to be on a safe side so i bought here i cut out four after i'll explain to you why i'll be needing six instead of four so what i'll be doing is that i'll get the front because you know this is kind of a backless top so i'll fold it in like that and here i'll be coming down a little bit by half of an inch and i'll pin it down there i'll pin it down there and i'll go ahead and you know pin down the four edges but remember to add a uh, your one of the this thing at the waist area which is somewhere here because if you don't add it there when you when I, after sewing it uh it was kind of open there so i don't like it that was why i added extra that is that was why i needed that six i added extra at the half length measurement which is somewhere here so you go ahead and you know have create an opening here and you know sew all the way around so everything inside and you know leave a little opening just like we did here and i'll go ahead and clip and notch the edges and the armholes i'll clip them around so that everything will come out nice and flat so after turning it inside out i'll go ahead and iron it and as for the opening here i'll just go ahead and use uh, you can top stitch to this or you can as well use your hemming gum to hold it down mine i use hemming gum to hold mine down but remember these loops that we created we know I, in this particular video i added four after sewing and everything i went ahead to top stitch the third the second one which was at the at the half length measurement i went ahead to top stitch but to save yourself from the stress of top, top stitching just go ahead and add it before you turn everything inside out so to to you know put the ropes through the who the loops i'll go ahead and crisscross it at the back because i want it to have a kind of a, a cross at the back so i'll go ahead and you know crisscross the the sleeves or the rope like that and that's just it for this particular tutorial so if there's any question you'd like me to answer leave it on the comments subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also follow my page in case you are viewing this video from my facebook page follow the page like comment and share so this is the back if you watch carefully you see that i only uh, you know pass the rope through the second loop that i top stitched here is the, the other loop that i made earlier in the video 
I didn't actually put pass the rope through it, but if you like, you can pass the rope through yours. Happy sewing!